Civil engineering is the application of physical and scientific principles for the design, development and maintenance of both constructed and the naturally built environment. The history of civil engineering profession dates back to 4000 and 2000 BC in ancient Egypt and ancient Iraq when women started to abandon a nomadic existence thus causing a need for construction of shelter. Civil engineering has developed over the ages to accommodate the society needs and was divided to many branches due to the massive information and theorems that was developed and so specialists in each field were required. Because of that, we see now seven main branches of civil engineering in the professional life and taught by the engineering faculties around the world. So here we will discuss seven major fields of civil engineering. We will also discuss different career pathways and different job positions available for those who want to specialize or want to pursue higher education in the relevant field. So let's start our today's topic. Here are seven main fields of the civil engineering. First one is construction engineering, structural engineering, third one is geotechnical engineering and fourth one is transportation engineering, fifth one is environmental engineering, sixth one is urban engineering, last but not the least, seventh one is water resources engineering. Now first one construction engineering. Construction phase of a project represents the first tangible result of a design. This phase is to be managed according to three main parameters of management that is cost, time and quality. The construction engineers are responsible of taking the project to an equilibrium state between these three parameters and they turn designs into reality on time and within budget. A construction engineer should have deep understanding of economic principles design fundamentals, material properties and management technique as they apply their knowledge of construction methods and equipments along with principles of financing, planning and managing to turn the design of other engineers into a successful facilities. What are the main tasks of a construction engineer? It's their main task is to review contracts of projects, hire subcontractors, provide quality control for the construction, order materials needed for the project and ensure that construction project is completed on and within budget. These are the main tasks of the construction manager. And what are the employment by sub-discipline? If you want to pursue construction engineering, then there will be different job positions available for you. First one is project manager. What is the duty of project manager? Its duty is oversees the entire construction project, organizes subcontractors to meet the critical path and what does estimator do? He formulates the expenses of a project, prepare the bid proposal and uses quality control to reduce costs to the company to achieve the lowest bid on a project. Now what is scheduler? He designs the critical path of project without sacrificing quality or safety works closely with the project manager and what does project engineer do? He designs the project to meet the specifications set by the owner and the government regulations, renders pragmatic solutions to daily problems during construction. The second major field of civil engineering is structural engineering. The first phase of building a structure is the design process that must be assure the safety of the structure its aesthetics and serviceability. Structural engineers are to design and analyze engineering structures such as tall buildings, bridges, dams, platforms, stadiums, etc. Task of a structural engineer can be divided into two main categories that is the design and the analysis. The design process is both creative and technical and requires knowledge of the material and laws of mechanics which governs material response. After the design process, the structure is analyzed to ensure that it has the required strength and rigidity. This analysis is used to redesign the structure accounting for more accurate determination quantities. The structural engineer should have the knowledge about the behavior of the deformable bodies, about the source and magnitudes and probability of applied loads 
about the material properties and design philosophies international and local design codes as well what are the main tasks ensure that structure is safe for use and resist their own weight and dynamic environmental loads such as hurricanes earthquakes blizzards and floods etc develop and utilize knowledge of the properties and behaviors of steel concrete and timber as well as new exotic materials evaluate and improve the load resistance capabilities of existing structures coming towards employability sub discipline of structural engineer first one is designer designer specializes in large firms in areas such as bridges offshore structures buildings transmission towers etc formulates plan that meet criteria based on quality cost and safety the second sub discipline is evaluator or analyst explore safety concerns on an existing structures modify structures to raise safety levels or to expand existing capabilities third major field of civil engineering is geotechnical engineering till today all the structures are built in on or with the earth the planes of earth where the structure is to be built must be analyzed carefully so that it will hold the structure and would not fail geotechnical engineering can be defined as the sub discipline of civil engineering that involves the study of natural materials found close to the surface of the earth it includes the application of principles of soil mechanics and rock mechanics to the design of foundations retaining structures and earth structures main task of geotechnical engineer is to study the properties of soil found in the project area this study includes the origins of soil grain size distribution ability to drain water compressibility shear strength and load bearing capacity design containment areas for depositing soil wise materials analyze rocks and soils in a project area for their suitability to support extreme loads design the foundation of structures employability by sub disciplines of geotechnical engineering first one is foundation designer he designs deep or shallow foundations to support load bearing structures examine soils and rock to determine the stability available for a project second one is landfill manager he creates waste management facilities that meet the needs of a community employs safe management practices to avoid contamination of existing soils and water hydro patterns third one is engineering geologist he determines existing types of soil and rock tests strength of the ground to support loads investigates landslides and other soil or rock related natural disasters hazardous waste manager accesses sites to ensure that specifications meet the standards imposed by the comprehensive environmental response compensation and liability act implies remedial acts to contain hazardous waste in facilities that do not disturb the environment The fourth major field of civil engineering is transportation engineering and it is considered to be the backbone of economy of any country it is the basic component of an area's physical economic and social structure the quality of community is directly related to the quality of its transportation system the main target of transportation engineering is to move people and goods safely and efficiently by planning and managing the transportation system it is the responsibility of transportation engineers to find methods of reducing traffic and make moving between far areas an easy task facing the challenge of increasing travel needs main task of transportation engineer is planning designing construction and management of transportation systems design highway systems pavement materials and rapid transit projects design of bridges tunnels and culverts designing constructing and maintaining railroads airfields and ports upgrade the transportation capability by improving traffic control and mass transit systems and sub discipline of employability for transportation engineering is 
first one is planner he works with the local state and federal levels to meet the requirements of the dot second one is consultant he makes recommendations concerning the infrastructure deals with the transit related problems operations manager oversees traffic flows alters roadway systems to meet the cyclic flow of traffic patterns fourth one is intelligent transportation systems improved transportation system through quality control and implementation of efficiency measures for example incident detection devices and high occupancy vehicle lanes works closely with the emergency services the fifth one is highway geometric design he designs roadway systems the fifth major branch of civil engineering is environmental engineering environmental engineering aims to protect resources of the planet it concerns itself with air pollution water pollution and ground water development environmental engineers translate physical chemical and biological processes into a systems to avoid pollution on earth what are the main tasks it include design and analyze water treatment plants provide safe drinking water cleaning up sites contaminated with hazardous materials and treat waste water and managing solid wastes develop ground water supplies urban engineering the sixth major field of civil engineering is urban engineering organizing a community growth and replying it demands of buildings and factories is the job of related to urban engineering urban engineers are the city planners who provide full development of community what are the main tasks it include determining areas of industrial and residential growth coordinate projects such as projecting street patterns and identifying parks and residential areas develop plans for the growth of cities and systems street planning zoning residential subdivision and industrial site development and employment by sub discipline for urban engineering is first one is city manager he oversees city engineers works closely with local county and state political units manages the overall upkeep of the city responds to any natural or man made disaster with emergency management techniques the second one is city engineer he specializes in civil engineering sub discipline to meet city needs such as water quality and transportation etc the third one is federal employee works for organization like department of transportation federal emergency management association and turnpike authority the seven and the last major field of civil engineering is water resources engineering the ultimate goal of water resources engineering is the maximum economic use of total water resource water resources engineers are concerned with issues related to the quality and quantity of water what are the main tasks these include supply water for cities industry and irrigation construction and maintenance of canals dams pipelines and pumping stations work with the behavior of water and other fluids from their conservation to their transportation and employment by sub discipline for water resource engineer is hydraulic engineer or hydrologist analyzes rainfall data characteristics of flow in open channels and pipes designs reservoirs studies pollution migration and coastal and shoreline protection the second one is sanitary engineer he plans and designs municipal water facilities such as water treatment plants and sewage treatment plants also may operate and maintain these facilities the third sub discipline of water resource engineering is water related structural engineering design such projects as hydroelectric plants canals docks and piers so guys that's all for today i hope this topic must have added some to your knowledge and for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get civil engineering related video update